Welcome to day number five of the Degenerate Gambler Trading Challenge. Why am I doing this? What's the purpose? Go and watch this video. I will put a link down below and then it will answer all your questions and give you all the context that you need. So today was an interesting day because ego got in the way. The ego led to me trading scared. And as you've heard the saying before, scared money doesn't make money. So did that play out to be the case? What exactly happened? But yeah, there's no doubt about it. I started off trading scared because of my ego, which I'll explain as we get to the live trading action. And on that note, when I say live, what I mean is that what you're about to see is me in the heat of the moment. It's not me doing a voiceover. It's not me talking about trades in hindsight. It is me in that exact moment in time. So you get my genuine thoughts, my genuine emotions as I go through each of these trades. And there were four trades in total. Yeah, four trades in total. How do they turn out? Well, let's go and see. All right, welcome to my desktop. The market's gonna open up here in a, any moment here. So just wanna get the recording software started and I will keep you updated if uh, I see a trade setup that I wanna take. All right, gonna get short here at 263.85. Let's see if this thing wants to come down. So took off small allotment there. Could still be a losing trade. See if this thing does indeed want to come back down. Took off 50 more there. Again, could still be a losing trade. Oh, come on, I have some more at 25. In fact, at this point, I'm gonna get potentially a little greedy here. But I got a little aggressive on those initial ones. So let's see if I can get 01 there. Very nice, very nice, good. I don't like that false breakdown though. So, wait, how did I not get 203? No, oh, not 20. Oh, whoops. Well, oh my goodness. What a train wreck of a trade. All right, let me just get out. Wow. So, what happened was I typed in the wrong, I put 20301, and I needed to put in two. 6301. So that move down there would have taken me out and given me some more profits. So here I was thinking I'd gotten that out and I didn't. And not, but wow, I'm glad I stopped out though. And I had a very small risk. I mean, 264 risk going in. So it was a 15 cent risk. Um, so on the first ones made well over 1R, over 1R. And then these ones were just, uh, yeah, that was just, uh, and I could have made, uh. now it still would have been a rough trade because I would have gotten stopped out with the last 100 anyways, uh, but I should have gotten 50 out more down from where I did. So have I, I was recording this whole time, right? Okay, so potentially a trade here on Tesla. Uh, what is that? 183, 183, 65. And at 183.70. Let's see if this thing wants to come down. Let 
you can come down below one. You're down below 183.50. Just double checking. Yeah, there we go. All right. So let me uh, let me get my numbers typed in right now to my calculator off screen while we wait. So I got in at one eighty three seventy. My stop is at one eighty four fifty one. So first target is one eighty two eighty, but it's uh, it's not looking like it's going to matter much here. Wow, and that fast. Alrighty then, Tesla. Uh, down 200, so wow. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Even look at NVIDIA. Well, there it is, the SPY. Boom, straight up. Well, NVIDIA, yeah, should have been a bit bigger, bigger trade. I would still be red on the day, though. I still have, you know, remember the rule is $500. So I still have, you know, 300 on the day. Maybe I just try one more. But I don't want this to, to spin out of control on me. I mean... NVIDIA, let's see. Okay, thank you. I bet it'll taste wonderful. Well, that's good. Good job. My daughter just brought me some, some coffee. You know, that happened to me yesterday. What was it on? Was it Tesla? Yeah, yesterday Tesla. Same thing. If I remember right, just straight up and just beast moded me. That's all right. That will happen. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking back at that setup. They're like, no, I didn't force anything. That was a nice looking setup. But Tesla just decided to do one, two, three, four, five, basically six, and now it's coming back down. So I know, I know, Clay, if you'd have just, if you'd have been undisciplined, you'd be back to break even at this point. I know, you're right, you're right, but that's not the rules. Rules are what they are, and Boeing continues to just drop. All right, I'll go ahead and pause. I'll be honest, I am trading scared right now. Why am I trading scared? Because of my ego. What ego? Well, I'd like to say, you know what? First five days of the challenge, and I managed to come out green. But how silly is that? Think about it. My mind is focused not on what? The rules. It is focused on making money because of an ego issue right now. So, you know, sometimes you gotta have a right relationship with your money, yes, which is the point of this challenge, but right now, so that's a one way you can trade scared if you don't have the right relationship with your money, but you can also have an ego. And yeah, it's my ego getting in the way. That's caused me to be scared. Because right now, I, can, I could stop right now and say, look, I finished green. Five days of the challenge and I'm, I'm green. You know, green by, I don't know, 150 bucks. I'm not sure what I'm up right now, uh, which would be great, right? I mean, so I can just say, see, look, I followed the rules and I turned out green for a strategy that I kind of just, uh, as far as the rules, but that, that's ridiculous. That's, that's my ego. Like, again, that the point here is not making money or losing money. As I said, from Monday until now, that's not the point. Follow the rules, yet I'm sitting here trading scared. So 184, I can't trade scared. 184 is a good setup. And I'm in at 184. Need 183.50. OK. 
Can't be trading scared, Clay. Just follow the rules. So my stop is at 51, meaning I cannot think about taking profits until at least 183.50. So Tesla's either rolling back down or it's gonna come back up, take me out, and it is what it is. Gotta set my ego aside here. And once again, Tesla not looking the greatest. And out again. Well, there we go. I'm officially, and I don't see, I just continue to focus on it. I'm officially right on the challenge now. Still have a couple hundred dollars left. But 185, oh, this area right here. One eighty four thirty four one eighty four thirty five. Maybe my timing was just a little bit off. Nope, just continues to come up. Well, I am one for three. Oh, that that's yeah, this is a good setup. And that is, this is a legitimately good setup. I'm interested at 25. Never mind. Okay, here comes Tesla. 185, 35, 185. Do I just get in at 185? No, I could do that. If it wants to push up a bit more. Three fifty, that's one seventy five. So that would basically put me at max loss if I don't get that one. At 185. But you know what? It's not about making money or losing money. This is a good setup at 185. Nope. Okay. Now at. I still at 185. Yeah, right around there. Okay. 185.09. Stop loss 185. So essentially 50 cent stop. And if Tesla is just going to go straight up, then so be it. I'll go. Well, maybe I'll start off the week with basically a max loss day and end the week with a max loss day. This is absolutely crazy right now. Got to get out. And we're at max loss. What a shame. What a shame. I'd love to take this again, but I can't now at this point. I'm at max loss. And you know, I, I mean, honestly... And for you members, this will mean more, but I, none of those are forced trades. I mean, when Tesla looked like that, first trade, again, as members, like I, I would hope you could see why I took that trade. And then uh, where's the next trade at? Somewhere, yeah. Right there, I, I could hope you see why, why I, I decided to take that trade. And then again, up here. I would, I would hope you could see why I decided to take that trade. And again, this thing could very well come down, but I said my stop was up there at 185.50 um, and got to follow the rules. Got to follow the rules, and I did. And I'm at max loss, so um, it is what it is. Disappointing. See, the, do you see what I'm doing, though? Why would it be disappointing? Because I followed all my rules. So what am I disappointed about? Oh, woe is me. I didn't make money. 
It's no wonder why people have a hard time following the rules because yeah, I don't want to take that stop loss because I, I just give it a little bit more wiggle room, Clay. Just give it a little bit more. And you know, in my defense, I, I could very well still see this thing coming down. So I, you know, maybe I should have given a little bit more wiggle room, but that's where, you know, a rule is a rule. And I said my stop loss was at that spot. So my stop loss is at that spot. But well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm disappointed, but I that was the the point of the challenge wasn't to make money. I mean, look at the market sell. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> straight up, gap down, and then literally straight up, not even not even a pullback or consolidation or anything. Well, uh, that's all I have. I've, I've got to be done for the day. The rule is that I'm, I'm also going to honor is the $500 max loss a day. And I, I hit the hit that Well, I'm at 474, but you know, close enough. So what was I one for four on the day? Oh, and I really want to take this. But I can't. All right, I need to just step away. So uh, I'll see you back at my desktop. So yeah, it just did not work out. And the, the funny part is that uh, if you were to go look at the markets now, they completely rolled back over and I would have been totally fine. So you know what? But that's, that's part of rules. That's part of stop losses and risk management is sometimes you're gonna be where I am at right now and play the game of, you know, had I broken the rules, I would have been okay. I would have made money. But you know what? Gotta remember, Sometimes if you break the rules, there's big consequences to pay. But I ultimately, I did follow the rules, didn't quite work out, but that's okay, that comes with the territory. So uh, that's uh, how uh, day number five wrapped up. And should I continue the challenge? Let me know down below. I'm kind of on the fence right now. I'm not quite sure if this thing has even been popular at all. Uh, maybe I just need to go back to normal trading, not be so focused on following the rules in this structured format. Uh, but I'm open to feedback, so let me know in the comment section uh, if you do want me to continue or, or have any sort of suggestions. Like I said, let me know or just hit that like button.